can check this out. We got a nice little cool waterfall coming through here, just kind of ripping through here. We're gonna get water to actually come through the H, the C, and that side at the end. It's all level with that stone there. Then we've got another waterfall dropping that way. So April, it was, what, four weeks ago? And I started showing you pictures of the stone truck, and you said, how do I get, how on, do that I get project, on that project? Right? <laughs> I couldn't wait Excellent. to meet you. <laughs> well, it was great. She had a Just little crush. She had a little crush. <laughs> yeah. A truck crush. A truck crush. I get that a lot. So this is awesome. Every time you build a pond, even if you think you know everybody in the neighborhood you get to know everybody in the neighborhood when something like this gets done so people are walking it in everybody's coming to check it out look at the amount of people that have gathered together here to just kind of see this and it's not even finished it's just awesome high five Yay. high five what is up at oh that's bad what is up everybody? It's Chris again from Team Aquascape. We are at the start of day three out here. This is the final push day of the stone truck project out here in beautiful, yet cold, Odessa, Texas. We are just getting wrapped up. Just getting wrapped up. We are just getting started for the day. April's already in here. She's working on foaming up some of the waterfalls. You can see we've got the Moore Ranch sign. Where'd it go? Right there. You can see we've got the Moore Ranch sign placed. We did that late last night. We have the rest of the waterfalls to finish off behind us. So I think Chris and Brian are going to tackle that. Trey, April, and myself are going to work on just finishing everything back behind them. And then we'll start tackling into that truck. So we got a long day ahead of us, but let's get going. You guys, I just have to say, it's amazing what a little vitamin D does. <laughs> oh my God, it's so much better today than it was yesterday. And things are looking amazing. We were actually wrapping up last night saying we're gonna be here till about 10 o'clock tonight. And uh, I think just the attitude that the sun brings out, we're gonna wrap this thing up. I'm not even gonna say, but I feel just a whole lot better than yesterday. Here's where we're at today. It's day three, we've accomplished a lot. Day one, if you remember, we rented that machine. It helped us get this in. Day two, we finally got that machine and day two, we basically built all the waterfalls, set that, and we've got our waterfalls up there by Chris and April being plumbed right now. So we got our spillway going in. You can check this out. We got a nice little cool waterfall coming through here, just kind of ripping through here. We're gonna get water to actually come through the H, the C, and that side at the end. It's all level with that stone there. Then we've got another waterfall dropping that way. You got Chris working on the spillway over here. I'm about to tackle the plumbing over here. Two of these lines go into the truck. One goes to a bulkhead fitting that's in the liner here. Another one goes up to that spillway there. The reason we split it off is because if we ran too much water out of that, this would get obnoxious looking out of here. But we do want a lot of water coming off of here. Our man Trey from DFW Ponds over there, the giant man in blue, <laughs> came over here. He actually anchored this stuff in on the side. We've got all this epoxied and done. That'll keep all of this running this way and we'll get that big drop over here. So a lot going on, but we're at the finish line. Talk a little bit about design. So one of the things we are concerned about is how high of a waterfall should we get in the back over there? And right now we have some space to get a little higher if we wanted to over there but if you can see where april's at if we came up higher then we don't get air back behind the more sign which makes it very hard to read we didn't want to come up too much higher there so you could actually see through those letters the other thing it would do is take away i think from the truck we really want that truck to be the dominant part of this feature and bring in a waterfall too high over there might start competing with that we also still have a four foot drop coming out of the bed of the truck there. That's gonna be pretty dramatic, which really then pulls your eye more towards that space anyways. So we're getting all wrapped up here, loving the progress, and it's sunny. Thank you, thank you, thank you.
time you build a pond, even if you think you know everybody in the neighborhood, you get to know everybody in the neighborhood when something like this gets done. So people are walking it in, everybody's coming to check it out. Look at the amount of people that have gathered together here to just kind of see this. And it's not even finished. It's just awesome. High five. Yay. High five. Oh man, Helfritz. We did it, pulled it off again. Not without the small army that was out here. Not so small army members. <laughs> just go ahead and tell us what the hell just happened. Well, in a short amount of time, I mean, really we didn't start the Sunday until about 10, 30, 11, by the time we started figuring everything out. And so in a short amount of time, today is what, Tuesday? Tuesday. In a short amount of time, we built something pretty awesome. So awesome that it looks like the neighborhood's coming to check it out. <laughs> right? It's true. Greg has this whole theme about collaboration nation, and I think this job like just speaks to that. I mean, without Chris Miller, the Chris Miller, the Chris Miller, right? The only person in the world that knows how to build stone trucks like that, right? Called us in, said, and he kind of a big leap of faith, like so many of our other customers do. Took the big leap of faith. Trusted in Aquascape and the certified Aquascape contractors, artists of the year, Trey, local to Dallas. Here, eight <laughs> hours local. Eight hours local. <laughs> because I guess first Dallas master like, CAC like, in Texas. Dallas is like this. Come bad, on. You know? <laughs> Everything's like six hours that way or eight hours this way. <laughs> but we had some bumps along the way, but when you have talented people, we can figure this stuff out every single time. And I think it was just so much fun to come together, build this with friends, new friends, and old, old friends. Whoa, old, old, big, old. Big friends. Old. Okay. <laughs> I think Brian, you put it so well, Collaboration Nation at its finest. Chris, being that this is the first time that you've worked with Aquascape other than Tony Sargent, right? But the first time you worked with Brian Helfrich, Chris, April, Trey. How did this experience go for you? This is about as dreamy of a collaboration team as you could possibly get. Yes! And I want to say something about I want to say something about Aquascape, and nobody paid me to say this. I've I've done three trucks that all had water features in it. The first one, Tony Sargent, Georgia did. I did an absolutely beautiful job in a very small amount of space in a very short amount of time. And then I did another one with a team of local contractors and local landscapers who did a, a reasonable job, didn't have quite the imagination of. And now I have the dream team flying in from Chicago and St. Louis and New Hampshire and Texas to come down and produce this incredible thing. Always go aquascape. Always. Nice. I would have paid him to say that. <laughs> I would have. No, it's absolutely true. You, having <laughs> professionals that know what they're doing and even more than that, have true artistic vision that can collaborate with something like this. It's, it's, I, I did it without that and it didn't work as well. So. We managed to get a hell of a lot done, even with all the obstacles, but the team right here just did a fantastic job. So thank you, everybody. Chris, thank, thank you, you for much. bringing Aquascape and our comrades in arms to be a part of it. I so look forward to uh, put it in. Team I look Stone forward Truck. To doing more. Team, team <laughs> Stone Truck. One, two, three. Team three. Stone Truck. Claymore. Claymore is really the driving factor behind all this. He is a adamant car collector. Been collecting cars for how many years? All, my life. all of his life. And he's staying in front of one of his prized possessions. It's never ever lost in a car show, right? It never has lost. It's always one first in every car show. It's, it's a 52 Ford pickup. It's awesome. Saw this 52 Ford pickup. He saw a picture of Chris Miller's truck, right? And friends sent us, we're on Facebook, and the Prince sent us a picture and told us we had to have this. And it was Chris Miller's who did the chiseling and this is artist. So I have one simple question. Did Aquascape and Chris meet your expectations? Oh, uh, i tell you what, Chris and Aquascape have done a wonderful job. They've been this in two days, and as you can tell, it's a perfect job. People have been so very nice. 
We really appreciate them coming this far to do this in Odessa, Texas. Well, Chris, I would say I can't wait to see everything else finished over here, and I hope someday I'm invited back to see uh, the car show that you plan on doing. We're going to have a car show probably in two or three months, and there'll probably be 40 cars. Out. <laughs> oh, that's incredible. And we're looking forward to having everybody that had a part in this to come out and celebrate with us. Well, that's awesome. Thank you so much, Chris. Thanks for inviting us out and trusting in our vision to build you something that I think is going to be a showstopper for the entire neighborhood. Maybe all of Texas. All of Texas. <laughs> all of Odessa for sure. Awesome. Thank you. Sarah, I'm just getting to meet you, kind of. Um, what did you think when Clay said, hey, I want to do this stone truck over here, and, and I think they want to do a waterfall or something out of it? Well, I don't know if Clay told you this or not. I haven't heard his part of the video, but actually, it was mine. Hey! The stone truck and the waterfalls in front of our new and improved man cave where we could show place our, <laughs> our collection of cars. Well, that's awesome. I would tell you this. I would I would love to take credit for all of my ideas, but I guarantee that most of them are my wife's too. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Behind every great man is a better woman. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> is it meeting your expectations? Oh, my stars. So, <laughs> so far past what we ever imagined. And I just appreciate so much Chris Miller and his artistry with the truck. To watch him work is amazing. And likewise with Aquascapes, you guys definitely know what you're doing. And in one day, you made this thing come to life. <laughs> I was here early this morning and we didn't have water yet. Didn't even have these things built quite yet. And so here we go at the end of the day. Oh, that's awesome. Terrific. Well, thanks so much for trusting us and inviting us out here to your home to do this for you. It was an absolute pleasure and I know everybody had a great time. Thanks. We did All too. right. It's great. Thanks. Love Thank you. Come see us. Yeah, I will. I can't wait. a pretty cool wrap up. This is Chris and Brian signing off from Team Aquascape. Do not forget every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday Tuesday, for Thursday, Sunday. special Brian time yeah. on Sundays, 9 a.m. Central Standard Time, <laughs> all the new Team Aquascape content. If you liked what you saw, make sure you let us know in the comments below. Hit the little thumbs up button and make sure you're subscribed and hit the little notification bell so you can stay up to date with all the cool stuff that we come out with all the time. Great. <laughs>